But then once I stop taking it after a little while, it just comes vicious again. It's awful. Everyone. Greetings. Greetings, Greetings, Mr. Kelsey. Greetings, um, Mr. Kelsey. Um, bless you, bless you. I'm just looking at the chopped off jaw. It's uh, one that I talk of um, patient suffering and delivery. Mm. It's, it's a wonderful um, blessing that we can really look into the scripture and understand the, the history of affliction. Because many people have it and, and still believe and saying that you've got to commit a sin in order to so have sickness on you. And Job is a great example to each yeah. and every one of us that living a perfect life on the earth, you can mm -hmm. still be sick. Oh, yes. And um, looking at Job and what he had, and to see that everything was taken from him. Mm. Because the scripture tells us that the enemy go to and fro yeah. throughout the earth, seeking who he may devour. That's right. And that he actually had to ask God's permission yeah. before he could even attack Job's body. Yeah. Little did he know that Job yeah. told rest with the Lord. Yeah. But regardless of materialistic things we have, we can lose it. Yes. And the main thing we have to be sure of that we don't lose our soul. That's right. That's why the scriptures remind us that how, what shall it profit a man yeah. to gain the whole world and lose his soul? And this is a great example that Job had here for us, that you can have so much, but have your soul rest with the Lord. And when I look at his wealth, 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 1,000 oxen, 500 assets. That's total of, um, basically speaking, about 790,000 pounds. Oh, yes, yes. Almost, maybe it's more. Because to have 7,000 sheep, that's 140,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, you know, when we look at it, we can see with, in their time, their wealth was always based on the amount of animals that they own. Especially if the asses that they had were actually she asses. Because they were valued more because they produce milk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So ladies, just looking at it at a different angle, for those who are looking down on themselves, we have value. Yes. Amen. Yeah. If we didn't have value, God would not have given Eve as a helpmate to Adam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we need to think that God does think highly of us. And I remember hearing the other day, I think it was Minister Thompson that actually said it, that we are equal to the man when he made it. might be Minister Thompson, because of so many scriptures I've listened yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. The man and the woman were made equally, regardless of which one was made first and which one was made after. Yeah. We were given the same um, Status. ability. And the only thing the man had over the woman was his physical strength. That's all. But yeah. we are there of value of course. to the Lord. That mm -hmm. even the very she asses were of more value than the male. Going back onto the scripture, Joel became even more wealthy after he was sick. 
because God replaces everything yeah. triple time up. Yeah, that's right. The sickness does not um, prohibit your spiritual growth to get no. deeper with the Lord. That's right. As a matter of yeah. fact, it should be your testimony Amen. to move forward to a higher heights in the Lord and deeper depth. Yeah. Because more you have experienced what That's it's right. like That's to right. go through certain things yeah. and yeah. having that test and pass yeah. through it, you yeah. can yeah. use that as an encouragement to yeah. bring someone into Definitely. the heart of the Lord. Yeah. And to let yeah. them know that having something and lose it does not stop you from going to heaven. Yeah. The scripture tells us it's better to enter heaven with one eye than to go to hell with two. Mm. It's better to enter heaven with one leg than to go to hell with two. Because the spiritual side of you loses no limbs. Yeah. You must remember that. Yeah. Lose an arm in this world it's because we are looking with a physical eye. But if we look spiritually, the arm is still there. Yeah. Because you can operate fully without any limbs. I've seen people in wheelchair, no legs, no arm. And they use their chin to navigate left, right or forward. They even can drive a car better right. than those who have got all their limbs. Yes. I've so what that. I'm trying to say is, do not let what you can see and what you haven't got hindered you from having a spiritual, perfect spiritual relationship with God. Because we can see what the Lord has done for Job. And you cast back your mind onto your thought to the, even the three Hebrews boys, which Minister Thompson talked about on Sunday, and we referred to that last week as well. Yeah. The three Hebrews boys let King Nebuchadnezzar know, even if God doesn't show up, mm. we still won't bow. Amen. Because they are looking on the physical, but the three Hebrew boy, their boys, they had faith, just like Job. Yes, Job yes. said, even if everything is taken from me, mm -hmm. yeah. it doesn't matter. His body was covered in sore. And for us, if we have one little sore, we oh. moan and moan. Yeah. And yeah. So true. So you true. know, yeah. when you travel to the tropical countries, you get eaten up by mosquitoes. Yes. We moan and moan, few little bites. But look mm. at Job. He was covered in sore. Yes. And even his wife said to him, curse God and die. Yes. What, what more of you? Mm. You're covered in sore. What's use of you in this world? That's right. But he's spiritual body was perfect intact his faith did not shift mm. it did not shake that's right because it's beyond what we can see with the natural eye and that's what we have to aim for if we lose everything in this world let heaven be our home and i heard pastor winston constantly manage mention it all the time we came in this world with nothing oh, and when dear. we leave we leave with nothing, nothing. brethren do not let the enemy fool us mm -hmm. that if we don't have something to eat for one day or a week mm -hmm. or a month yeah. let heaven be our home Amen. Yes. because there are more that hid in christ than what we can see. He said to us, if the praises go up, blessings. the blessings will come down. Mm -hmm. We don't even have to even pray for a particular thing. It's only a time to let others know that we can put that thing to God and achieve it. Because sometimes if people don't hear, 
And when it turns out, they don't believe. They don't believe. The natural eyes wants to see. Yeah. The Lord appear to over six million Muslims with the same vision. And if he hadn't appear and heal, heal them, they wouldn't have believed. And all they had to do was just trust the God that created the heaven and earth. So right now, we need to pray for the nation. Pray for the government. There are chaos in the atmosphere. Chaos is coming towards this world because leaders are failing. Political leaders are failing. Yeah, yeah. The jurisdictional system that is best set is failing us. Yes. The economy is failing. Mm. So it's not money we need. Uh -uh. It's not food we need. It's uh -uh. spiritual food we need. Amen. Spiritual yeah. money that comes out of heaven, rain down on us. We need the dust of glory, the mm. gold dust of glory to shred down on us so we can make it. I wonder if any of you have ever seen gold dust coming down. Uh -uh. Has anyone ever experienced that? No. 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 A friend of mine, she was away in Malaysia and they started to pray when they went to one of the conventions. And everyone started to pray with the same mindset. And when she looked, she said, she could see gold dust coming down from heaven and healing took place in that convention like she's never seen before. Wow. We need to pray for the Holy Spirit to come down on each and every one of us like gold dust from heaven. Amen. And when we get that, we will be on another level, like Job, because we don't have to hold materialistic things in order to give God praise. Amen. The very breath that is in us is lent to us, and that's enough to give God praise. If we Amen. don't pray him, the stones that you've got in your back garden and in the front of your garden yes. will form the shape of a human being yeah. and come and knock on your door and yeah. say, hello, God yeah. bless you. I'm here to give God thanks. You will yeah. jump out of your skin. Can you imagine? <laughs> Turn up a church and the building turning to people, giving God praise. We would keel over. Yeah. What I'm saying is, we need to think realistically that praises belong to God, just right. like Job. Yes. Everything was taken. Even his very skin was taken from him. But yes. he still praised God. He yes. had no skin left. Think of it, brethren. He was covered in sore that the very dog was licking his body. Poor mm -hmm. Job. But his faith was rich and hid in Christ. Mm. God bless you. I leave some space for somebody else. Mm. I just need to be covered in mm. gold dust from glory because my father is a millionaire. Amen. 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 Continue yes. to pray for me. Yes. Yes, sir. God bless you. Greetings, everyone, again. Greetings. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Um, yes. Um, very, very, very lovely word, uh, Mr. Kelsey. And I think your word is like gold dust. Mm. Yes, I feel your word is like gold dust. We need a lot more than that. I wish we could share these words to the world, maybe over the internet, yes, and so true. other yes. people, other people can hear it. We are just doing it yes, among ourselves, but I think other people need to hear hear the message. It's very good. Very good indeed. Um, <clears throat> just wanted to say, firstly, um, I, I was to say a testimony, but I, I was a bit late. 
Um, you know, last week we had a prayer regarding the Hurricane Beryl that was heading towards Jamaica. And I was in Jamaica in 1988 when Gilbert um, hit Jamaica. And it was devastating. It was totally devastating. And um, when I heard that Beryl was hitting an island, St. Vincent and the Karakou Island, um, I said, if I hit Jamaica, Jamaica is in big trouble. Big, big trouble. And we prayed last week, brethren. I think we prayed last week. I know we prayed on the Zoom and we prayed on um, another prayer meeting. And you see what God has done. I mean, it has touched Jamaica, but not in the density, the density as it could have. It could have been, Amen. It could have been 10 times worse. Put it that way. But you see, that's what I'm saying. God, he will answer prayer, brethren. Amen. I know we're not on the topic. We still pray for the other, the other part. Yeah. Uh, probably what it's called. Uh, yeah. St. Elizabeth. Yeah. Elizabeth got hit a little bit. But I'm saying yeah, that, you know, we prayed. We prayed. And I'm saying that knowing, seeing what Gilbert did, and this, this storm was at the same density, um, same category. Well, it could have been so much worse, but we prayed. And I believe God heard our prayer. And so I want to say thank God that it wasn't worse. I mean, it has been... A f no one died. At least nobody died. Yeah, it has been... Yeah, it has been... Effect yeah. So we give God thanks. We give God thanks. We prayed and he has averted much greater disaster. Amen. So, on to, I don't want to try to say the topic, but I think we should get give God thanks for that, um, for hearing us because we did pray. Um, so, so brethren, yes, this this topic about Job. Um, I think Minister Castle covered it well um, because um, we have to divide the spiritual from the natural. We have to know what is important to us. We have to lean on that which is of value, more value to us. And if we separate the spiritual from the physical, then we know, of course, that the physical is temporal. It's, it is going to go. Everything physical, we know it will go eventually. Time will come, it will be gone. We will be here, we will be gone. Physical sense, but our spiritual life in Christ is eternal now the bible tells us that the carnal mind is at enmity with the with, 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 the carnal mind is an enmity with god why is it enmity with god because it, it is not it, it cannot be subject to the laws of god so when we we if we live in the flesh the bible says if we walk in the flesh we will reach we live we reach corruption but if we walk in the spirit, we walk. We, we have we we have life. So, Job was the prime example of a man who walked in the spirit. And last week we was talking about the rock, and I could see that Job was building on the rock. Amen. You know, he was building on the rock. He he wasn't thinking about the physical, even though he went through so much. But he trusted in God. He knew there is a God. And he knew he had, God is good. So, so when we know there is a God and we know that God is good, anything that comes upon us, we know there is a reason. And so Job knew there was a reason. He lost, lost uh, as Minister mentioned, how many, Minister Castle mentioned, how many was his substance. He had a great substance. Yes. And the devil was jealous. You know, I always say the devil, the devil cannot attack God. So he attacked the people who love God. Right. And so he attacked Job because he know Job loved God. He can't touch God. The devil can't touch God at all. God is far above his spear. But we down here who say we who love God, he target us to get to God. As um, as, as, as Mother Mills, you must know the saying that if you can't catch crash, you catch him shot. You know that one, don't you, Mother Mills? <laughs> you know that one, don't you? Old Jamaican, old Jamaican thing. Huh? 
my grandparents used to say yes to that's yeah. is it so <laughs> the devil the can't where we go yeah because if they can't get the grandparents they'll get us yes children. that is what the devil yeah. does Yes, but <laughs> it's it's only when we live in the spirit we can perceive. When we live in the spirit and we serve God, we can perceive the plans of the devil. You know, we can perceive, as Miss I mentioned, Miss Cancer was about. We must look from from a spiritual aspect. Everything about us must be about the spirit. You know, we must. The Bible says, "Must walk in the spirit, and we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh." Walk in the spirit, we live, you know, walk in the spirit, and our body is full of light. So, when we walk in the spirit, we, we, we walk with God, Amen. we're walking with God, you know, when we're not, we're not mindful of this world as much as we're mindful of God. So, I think that was what how Job was seeing things. He realized how good God is, he realized what God has done, he realized that whatever he possesses. Is God give him all those camels and horses and and, and she uh, goats and all the and all the f substance he had the men servants the women and his children he, g everything we have brethren we have to say everything that we possess in this life is God give us and yes, and Job everything. Job could see that everything that he had all this all the substance he could see that is not him work for it. But God give him. And that's why he said, The Lord give it and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And brethren, this is and this is a wonderful thing for us to show how we sh how we should be faithful to God. And how uh, uh, how we should appreciate what we've got. And stop the stop don't worship nothing that we have. And don't praise ourselves for what we have achieved in life. If you have a big house or a big mansion, don't praise yourself. Oh, I've got, I built this big mansion. Oh, look, I've got, I've, uh, you know, I've got, you know, I've got whatever I've got. I've got this yacht. I've got this. Don't praise yourself. It's God give us. It's God give us. And and we should be grateful. And a time will come. Maybe He will take it away from us. But that should not change our attitude. That should not change our attitude towards him. And it did not change Job's attitude. Remember, he lost even his children. He lost all his children. They died. And then, uh, you know, his skin. His, he had to scrape himself with a potched, something like, uh, I don't know, some more or Gordy, something like that to scrape his skin. Because it was, you know, it's all bumps and things and scratching and, you know, and still for all. But you, this has shown us how we should tr trust God. It is an example for us that no matter what come upon us, what our condition is, we should trust God and we should praise God. And that is, a, that, that, that is what... I see in the story of Job. It's a wonderful story, and you know it. You know it just tells us how much, you know, we can endure, you know, and how God will and how God will bring us out. Amen. 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 Wonderful. Wonderful. Amen. Oh, beautiful. The Bible said in verse one, he was a perfect man. Mm -hmm. I don't was perfect. He still gets sick. So many people are saying right now, Pastor Winter not done wrong. No. 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 That's what I'm saying. Because I'm with you. But when we look at Job, mm -hmm. I still was a perfect man. But yes, sick from him. He was so mm -hmm. bad. He swore to his body. Oh, his children, his wife, his friend, say must curse God and die. And they laugh at him, they criticize, mm. they look down on him. They don't care what you have in, in his life. You can lose it and get poor and get sick could come your way. Mm. And don't care what nobody say, keep your eyes on Jesus. Mm. If you keep my eyes, I'll keep my eyes on Jesus. 
I'm keep my the Lord because you bring me to it. And then he gonna bring me to it, then he gonna bring me out all right, and then be more better and more richer than before. I'm rich in Christ, and now when the book more richer. Yes. Uh, Pastor we more stronger. I'm more than more faith and more deeper. Right. I always spend that day and second year. But the way it's so powerful, you say your price so powerful. God is making my boys come up more powerful. Pastor Winston, just yes, just one little quick word. Um, there there is a man who I see who is a minister. He has no hands. He has no feet, mm. and he's glorifying oh, God. Yes. Oh, yeah. the white man. Yes. The white man. Yes, he has no hands, he has no hands, no feet, and he's, glo he's glorifying God. So that's a perfect example. And I know that God loved this man, and I know that God is you. God is using him, and God loves him. God could give him his two hands and two feet, but God gave him the acceptance of what he is. Yeah. And then preach before big crowd, thousands of people. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen him. Yeah. So, Pastor yeah. Winston, your, your condition is your blessing. Amen. And your blessing Amen. is to glorify God. When God is ready, Amen. God will move. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I'm sorry, moving. God is already yes, moving. Yes, he is moving. He is moving. Yeah. Mm. Because you're not giving up. No. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry to interrupt you, Pastor Winston, but it's just a thought that came to me. God is using that man. I know that God is using that man. Yes. A hundred people. When you see him, I send it to you, send it to you Pastor. A, a hundred people. Oh, you saw it. Okay. Yes, okay. I saw it. He's a he's a great speaker. Very good. Very good. Very good speaker. Yeah, yeah powerful one. Very powerful. Yeah. What people don't realize, the body had a stroke, not the spirit. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because John's your, your friends were looking on in the outside of his body we saw yeah uh -huh. but the spiritual body had nothing on it that's right Amen. that's right his spiritual that's body was body good the heart and not the outside his spiritual it's body was healthy outside, but the inside is what matters yes amen, amen. we can take an example of when samuel went to anoint one of jesse's son all the tall ones the big ones, yeah. the physical ones, the masculine ones, the ones that look the part of a yeah. king. They got the height, they got the build, yeah. they had the look, but they yeah. did not have the spirit. That's right. What God is looking for. That's right. Their heart Amen. of worship and dependency on Jehovah God was not in them. They were looking at their physical strength, how they could lift the sword and use a shield. But mm -hmm. David depend on God with his faith to survive out in the wild. So Job's flesh was under attack, but not his spirit. That's right. The enemy forget that. Yeah. He can't reach that because he's hid in God. That's right. He can't find it. The enemy cannot find that spirit still hid in God. Yes, praise God. Mm. Mm, wonderful. Amen. 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 I wish more people can come on the arm. The, like, the Zoom, yeah. There's so many good things going on here. Mm. How about the speak lesson? Mm hmm? The speak lesson gives more opportunity to others. Mm. No, but you didn't, you, you must speak more. You said, me, you said, me, you said, me, you too, but me, you have to say. Yeah, you make it up, make it up, you can put it on YouTube, so the world can hear what you can, can Yeah, you, we you can do the audio. Out. We can put the audio up. We don't have to put the video. We can put the audio up. And yeah, because, pe people can hear it. You can share yeah. it. Because with your, it's your education and your training. Well, your, you know, other people, other people need to hear. 
Yes. yes. It's not just yes. us. She teach, but I was here somewhere to teach him for a young girl. And then she, she go to a theologian college and she have a degree in theologian. So if you have a gift, where you have a you your gift. Of course. Have, of course. Thank you. Use your gift to glorify God. Amen. You, you know, you know, my brethren.